Well, hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide. We are on February 24th, 2020. Welcome to another surviving day on this planet. Welcome to another video from Morning Dew. Looking at some insane images here in Turkey. And then complete opposite crazy images coming from Spain. From one extreme to the next huge dust storm. We're going to get more into that in just a moment. Looking here at our sun, the last 48 hours. Not much to talk about, still no coronal holes. But what was that? That, everybody, was the moon eclipsing the STO satellite and the sun. So that little quick in and out was our moon. Very cool. Looking here, plasma filaments erecting off the northwestern limb. Might have some activity coming around from the backside of the sun. Might be a sunspot curve connected to that. Looking here at a different light. You're able to see the heliosphere being affected. And you can see small sunspot regions trying to form. But to no avail. We also have Mercury that is going to be coming in for our little retrograde and a transit. We're going to be watching that over the next few days. Let's get to earthquakes here the last 24 hours as it's been pretty busy. Or sorry, no, this is the last 48 hours. Let's get to the last 24 hours. There we go. Sorry. It hasn't been very busy, but some pretty key earthquakes today. Dominican Republic, Republic a lot of minor tremors today as well a 5.0 there Guatemala a couple minor earthquakes here New Madrid as well 2.5 there California and a 2.5 Princeton Canada that's most likely the mining operations in BC minor earthquakes Alaska pretty deep earthquake here in Japan, 4.6 at a 471 kilometer depth. Also looking across Indonesia, 4.4, 4.5, and as well 4.8 here. Four point eight in New Zealand. As well 5.0 here. South Sandwich Islands. So you can see earthquake seismicity is really spread out around the world right now. No deep plate particular movement, but these are some pretty interesting earthquakes heading straight across from Turkey to Greece and Italy. Stay aware and prepared. Etna, Stromboli, watch for possible volcanic uptick in that region. Looking here the last seven days, it's been quite a few deep earthquakes recently. As well, all of the notable earthquakes in Turkey. The aftershocks have stopped, which is a good thing. They can carry on trying to find survivors and help those rebuild. Looking here, Pacific Disaster Center, Showing the last volcanoes being erupted. Fuego. Uh, Reventador. Uh, there's only been the four vol or three volcanoes. Fuego, Sangay, Sangay, and Reventador in the last three hours being updated. And looking around the world right now, we still have a lot of flood alerts across the United States. And as well, a winter storm. Northern Rockies or Southern Rockies, sorry. That's the Colorado low that is going to be heading through there. That was a deep low or level low that came from the Pacific. You can see here, this is the last two days of satellite imagery. You can see the center of the low pressure system spinning straight across Mexico and then, then into Texas. And that's going to race across the southeast 
head into the Atlantic provinces of Canada with a whole bunch of snow. Overlooking South America, still a lot of flood alerts. As well, we have two tropical cyclones over Australia right now, tropical cyclone Esther, and as well off the coast, we have Ferdinand as well. Ferdinand will not make landfall, but it may join forces with Esther as Esther moves into land and heads west. We'll see what happens here. Flood alerts here in Queensland, Australia as well. Just wanted to show you here the last two days satellite imagery of this large low that's been spinning over the Northern Territory of Australia. Packing a lot of winds and a lot of moisture, but it looks like it seems to have broken up. As we go to bed tonight, it will be firing up again during the day. So stay aware and prepared, my friends and family in Australia. Thoughts and prayers to you guys. As well, just looking at the satellite imagery here, um, Ferdinand is a pretty tightly whipped storm as well. And then we had the situation over um, the Canary Islands as a huge dust storm invaded the islands. Just some crazy images here. Looks like atmosphere of Mars. Unbelievable, just orange, red. I'm sure it's very hard to breathe. Strong winds coming about. And then we go to Turkey as blizzards in February, throughout February, have buried parts of Turkey. Just insane amounts of snowfall across the region. Thoughts and prayers to all of the people in Turkey as they've had to deal with many snowstorms, which they're not used to, and as well, earthquakes. I just wanted to share with you here satellite imagery from NASA Worldview overlooking the dust storm that hit the Canary Islands. You can drastically see it here from way up. That is a very thick storm of dust. We're just going to go back a couple days here and watch as it comes in. And there's a huge low pressure system that just came off of Spain that is heading southwest into the middle of the Atlantic and that's pretty much it what has sucked all of the dust from Africa and Morocco and you can see it is enveloped within this large low pressure system in the Atlantic. Be interesting to see how long this low pressure system right here particularly lasts as we are merely six weeks away from things starting to heat up in the Atlantic. Stay aware and prepare, my friends and family, and please share this video. If you haven't smashed the like button, please do that. Help support this channel. We're on our way to 10,000. And I have all of you to thank for your continued loyalty and viewership to this channel. Thanks so much. Something I wanted to point out here was the atmospheric rivers that are appearing across our planet both the northern hemisphere and the hemisphere. I'm just pointing them out here with the highlighter so you can see. Now, when we get to about eight arms of atmospheric rivers enveloping the planet, we've got some serious situations developing, and we do. We have eight of them across the planet. Let's get to the five-day forecast. Global weather from around the world. Brought to you by Meteor Earth, Meteor Mike, starting out here, home base. And across the eastern side of the United States and Atlantic Province of Canada, watch for that Colorado low to move in Thursday into Saturday. Across Europe, watching the atmospheric river of rain still in these low pressure systems hammering the United Kingdom. 
as well bringing a lot of snow to Norway, western Russia, heavy snow across northern Mongolia, and as well watching a system that's going to be heading across Pakistan that's going to bring some heavy snow and heavy rains throughout Nepal and northwestern Pakistan here. Huge low pressure system in the Pacific, still just churning. Hasn't really broken up yet. Snowstorms across northern BC. Extreme cold, parts of northern Manitoba and across into Yukon. Variable temperature here in Alberta, up and down still. And then across South America, we have an intense flooding situation all across. Flooding, landslides, flash floods. As this rain has continued, atmospheric river of rain, you can see here, very intense at times and very warm ahead of it. Tropical Cyclone Esther, this is the five-day forecast. Thanks, everybody, for watching today. This has been Mike with Morning Dew. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun and get your morning dew. God bless humanity and much love to you. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world. Thank you.